So if you notice that your Windows 11 is slowing down or taking too much of a storage space, one of the most effective way to speed up your computer and free up your space is clearing the cache. Now over the time, the temporary file, the browser cache and other cache data can build up and cause performance issues. So today in this video, I will be showing you the complete way to clear and remove all kind of junk and the cache file from your Windows 10 or Windows 11. Alright, first we will start with the very basic steps. Right click on Windows icon, click on Run, type here Temp, click on OK. Select all the file here by pressing the Ctrl A and then use the Shift and Delete key to permanently delete all these items. Check the box, click on Continue. Check the box again, click on Skip. Now you can close it. Again, right click on Windows icon, click on Run, type percent, Temp, percent, click on OK. Again, press Ctrl A to select all. Then use the Shift and Delete key to permanently delete all these items. Check the box, click on Continue. Check the box again, click on Skip. And you can see by just deleting all these junk in the cache file, huge space is going to be empty on your drive. And one more last time, again right click on Windows icon, click on Run. This time you will have to type Prefetch and click on OK. I have already deleted all the file, but still you have to press Ctrl A to select all, then press Shift and Delete and delete all these files. Now next we have to delete the old Windows update file. So bring up your file explorer. Go to local disk C. Look for Windows folder. Double click on it. Then you need to look for software distribution. So press the S key and look for software distribution. Once you get it, open it. Look for the download folder, open it. And these are the old Windows update file. Again press Ctrl A to select them all. Press Shift Delete to permanently delete them. Click continue. Next in the file explorer only you will have to click on the three dot. Click on options. Below in the privacy you will have to check show frequently used folder, show file, show recently used file then click on clear. Now you can close it. Next click on windows search, type disk. Click on disk cleanup. From the drop down choose the disk that you want to scan for all the cache and junk file. I will go with the C drive. Click on ok. And it will be scanning the system file, the update cleanup file. Again, it will give you this kind of page here and here you have to select all these options that you want to delete like Windows Update Cleanup, Defender Antivirus File, Windows Upgrade Log File. Below you can see many kind of cache file like DirectX, Shader Cache. I will also check that. Now here almost you can check each and everything. Like you can also go with the Recycle Bin, Temporary File, System Recovery Log File, User File History. Once you have selected all these files here, Click on OK and click on delete file and this will be now cleaning up your drive. A very useful tool in order to clean all kind of junk cache and the temporary file from your Windows 10 or 11. Alright now once done we also need to clear the RAM cache and if you bring up the task manager on your Windows 10 or 11, go to performance, click on memory. So you can see the cache file is around 4.6 gigabyte and this is a cache file of your RAM that occupy a huge part of your memory and sometimes it's really important to clear all these kind of cache and for this Microsoft has also given a tool so just open up any of your browser and search here RAM map and on the very top only you will be getting the Microsoft link of RAM map so you will have to click on it click this link here download RAM map once downloaded open the downloaded folder right click on it click on extract all once extracted, you will have to look for this file RAMMAP64.exe, right click on it, click run as admin, click on yes and you will be getting this kind of dashboard here. Now before clearing the RAM cache, let me open up the task manager and as of now you can see the cache memory is around 3.8, 3.9 gigabyte. So from the RAM app application, you will have to click on empty, click empty standby list and the moment you will click on it. Now the task manager, you can see the cache memory has been reduced to around 260 MB. Alright, so once you have done this, now you can close each and everything. Now next, we also need to clear the network cache. So if you have any issues related to the network, this can be fixed by just clearing the network cache. And for this, click on Windows Search, type CMD, choose run as administrator, click on Yes. And here you have to type a very simple command that will be ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS and it will say successfully flush the DNS resolver cache and after this I would also recommend you to clear the Microsoft store cache as well and from here in the command prompt only 
type ws reset dot exe and hit the enter key and once you hit the enter key it will automatically clear the microsoft store cache and it will bring up the store application now next we also need to delete the gpu cache as well and if you are using the amd then right click on your desktop choose the amd software add nil click on yes from the top click on the gaming then click on graphics scroll down to the advanced again scroll down you will find reset shader cache click on this icon here and click on ok and if you are using the nvidia right click on the windows icon click on run and here you have to type percent local app data percent click on ok then you have to look for the nvidia folder once you get it open it you will find the gl cache and the dx cache as well so you will have to open it and delete all the file inside it and after this we are only remaining with the final step where we have to clear the browsing data and the cache of your browser so bring up your browser whichever you are using like i'm using the google chrome the steps will be almost same for all the browser click on the three dot open up settings click privacy and security click delete browsing data now this will list you all kind of categories like browsing history cookies and site data cache image and file download history site setting hosted autofill form data so first from the top you will have to choose it to all time make sure the autofill form data and the password is unchecked and then you can click on delete data so this will be clearing all kind of your download history cache images and files cookies browsing history and doing so will be improving the performance of your browser the speed of your browser and if you had any kind of issues that will be also resolved so that's all guys for today this is all exactly you have to do in order to clear all your cache junk and the temporary file from your device and doing so will boost your windows performance and even empty a lot of space if you found the video informative guys please hit the like subscribe and i see you in the next video bye bye